Oh, hey everybody! Welcome back to my channel. I'm Scorpio Simmer, and welcome back to the season finale of Worst Cooks in America, season eight, episode seven. If you all know who won by now, that is awesome. And um, I had just finished watching it, and now I know too. So congratulations to him. And so now um, there have been 14 worst cooks this season, and now we are down to the final two. Uh, I will be reviewing Mob Wives for now until the summer, where I will review. I'm going to try my best because, you know, during the summertime, we all be out sucking up the sun, trying to stay out of the heat, trying to keep cool. Some people be doing this or that, hanging out with the boyfriends, hanging out with the friends, doing this or that, maybe moving, who knows, you know. People move, you know, go to the movies, go to the mall, shopping. A girl loves to shop. I love shopping. Don't you guys love shopping? So, um, I will not, but let's get back to the spring and the winter, the winter this time we're in, but it doesn't really feel winter where I'm at. It kind of feels like summer right now, but it's not really summer. It's, it's, it's still winter. It's winter, but it feels hot here. It's like in the 70s. Let me check real quick. <laughs> don't really have to get into the view right this second because I don't think it's going to take that long. And your sister lives in California. She came here with you today. Here in California, if is it is 75 degrees so it's been pretty warm here so anyways back to it's been pretty busy right now so I won't be uh, reviewing the family therapy and I was thinking of reviewing catfish but I'm not sure if I will um, I really really want to but um, life has been pretty busy right now so I probably just will be tweeting on about it um, but um, I will be um, tweeting about it so um, I'll probably be having my from this point forward Jazzy at Jazzy Jaw. Um, you guys can find me there, and on Wednesdays I'll tweet about it. And uh, so now we we see Tyler and Anne take Lawrence and Nick to see their, um, you know, the their aunt their appetizers and their side their appetizers their appetizers <laughs> their appetizers their entrees and their sides and their desserts so um, Nick makes a zucchini noodles and and uh, soul food I like that myself and fried chicken collard greens and um, and cooking don't cook bugs bunny just don't do it I don't think I would eat rabbit anyways and then cherry tart sounds good and then peach upside down cake with basil. I missed what he said. Did he say something like, I don't know if you guys can see it. It says suit. Suit? Like really? Suit. Yeah, I, think, I couldn't really get it focused a bit. But suit. And then uh, two hours. Stuffed zucchini blossoms. And then like his squash blossom, it was a little bit of a mess. I don't know if you're going to win, but we just had to see. And then um, Tyler, enough already. <laughs> he cracked me up. And then cherry crostata with vanilla ice cream with the caramel. I guess I kind of missed that. I'm not sure. Nick looks kind of lost. Lawrence looks like he is in his zone. And Nick is getting overwhelmed. And um, bear dishes. If you see in past reviews, if I forget their dishes, then that's kind of why I kind of forgot. And I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So Tyler and Anne 
go talk to the panel of experts. One of the panelists say, thank God she ate before she came there. I say she should have left some room then because you're about to eat that food. So whether it's nasty or not, you should eat it anyway. And then Lawrence's shallots got burnt. And then while, okay, so while his chicken looked really good, like really, really good. I was like, wow, cause I only been watching like, this is actually the first season I've watched on like regular TV. Like I've said this before on like a couple of my other um, episodes, not episodes, review um, videos, because I'm like the only YouTuber, I think, that has reviewed Worst Cooks of America on YouTube. So if anyone else wants to start reviewing, like the next season season nine when it comes out just start because i want to be the only one okay so while his chicken looks really good i think this he might this might be in the bag but i've been rooting for nick since the beginning so this is like so hard i would really like lawrence to win because it's kind of obvious because his chicken looked really good like i wanted to eat it off of this three like and then Anne called Tony and Ride to like the Disney movie, the kind of weird for a second. Okay, so they said the presentation was off. The dessert, Lawrence's ice cream looks green and yummy. And Anne, and Nick's longest churn ever. And ooh, his cakes weren't ready. And great, um, excuse me. Okay, and then now it was time for them to talk about dishes. So for Lawrence, let's start with because his was dish wise, so we're going to start backwards. So Lawrence appetizer was outstanding. Um, his entree crispy, lovely ratatouille, and th them calling him a uh, chef. The one on the end, I didn't get his, because there was there was a man sitting. Man, I can't use Windows Movie Maker on this computer. There was a woman sitting in the middle, and then there was a man sitting over here, and um, he said, "Chef Lawrence," and that made him feel so warm and fuzzy inside. He was like, "Chef Lawrence." That's an accomplishment. Accomplish and Nick, they said that his appetizer was oily, limp, and he felt like he was screwed. His entree was salty. And his dessert. So the winner was Nick. I can't believe he won. I really thought that Lawrence was going to win. So I thank you guys for watching my first ever... Um, show review um rush cooks in america i can't wait until season nine comes out and um i'm sorry i'm sorry that this video kept going in and out in and out hopefully that mob wives won't be doing this otherwise i'm sorry and there probably won't be no more video reviews like this i mean there will still be like no more face reviews so i thank you guys for watching please rate comment and subscribe and i'll see you all next time bye zodiacs